President Buhari, the elections are coming. Nigerians must pray. And I'm not talking about leaf saves prayer. I'm talking about real prayer. Nigeria, you stand on the crossroad. Nigeria. Every Nigerian must pray. Africa continue to face challenges from Cape to Cairo. Challenges of ungodly government. Challenges of election that rigged. Challenges of political violence. And here is what the Lord wanted me to warn Nigerians. Don't take your nation backward. I see a danger of Nigeria being taken backward. The politicians in Nigeria must not turn the clock back to the days of military dictatorship. Nigerians fast and pray. The end of Satan is working behind the scenes in your government. Do not shed innocent blood in your nation. Don't kill innocent people for the sake of power. I'm warning the Nigerian government of what I saw. The clock says one o'clock. You want to take it back to say 11 o'clock. The pastors in Nigeria must not fight one another. They must come together to pray for their nation. Stop peddling lies against one another. Stop spreading malicious rumor against one another. It's tearing your nation apart and giving Satan power over that nation. So, Mr. President Buhari, the president of Nigeria, I warn you. I warn you. As I warn you, the Lord from heaven is warning you. Don't allow innocent blood to be shed in that nation. If not, I see many people dying. Nigeria. Nigeria. In Africa, you stood. Your leaders stood as people who were looking to move the nation forward. Nigeria. Many churches. Yet so many, much gossip, so much hypocrisy, so much of peddling of lies. Nigerian. Change. Repent. I'm not talking my own words. I'm talking from above. Where people spread malicious rumor, slander against one another. When an anointed man of God use social media to battle lies against other ministers of God. It's evil. That we must fight. We have too many big pastors in Nigeria, big prophet in Nigeria, but too much confusion. How is that possible? So pray for the nation of Nigeria. Let's stand up. I see blood. I see blood in that nation. My heart is bleeding and the heart of God is bleeding. We Christians, when we are not in the spirit, we don't see nothing. 
we see our shadows and we run from our shadows. Wave your hands and offer prayer for Nigeria. Offer prayer that innocent people will not die. Offer prayer that confusion will not come to that nation. Offer prayer, offer prayer, offer prayer. Offer prayer as if it's your sister, as if it's your brother. That's who we are in Christ Jesus. Offer prayer, offer prayer, offer prayer, offer prayer, offer prayer. Break the hand of evil. Satanic forces in that nation. Satanic forces on that nation. Selfish ambition, corruption in that nation. That want to take the nation backward. Break that power. Break that power in prayer. Prayer for Nigeria. Prayer for Nigeria. Prayer for Nigeria. Prayer for Nigeria. Pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray for Nigeria from Cape to Cairo. Africa must be free. From Cape to Cairo, Africa must be free. From Cape to Cairo, the end of wickedness must be broken over, over Africa. Pray, 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 pray. In Christ's name, we pray. In Christ's name, we pray. So this Friday, those who can fast, fast for the nation of Nigeria. When you're watching Voice of Restoration TV, we are committed to changing lives and changing nations. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Voice of Restoration TV. And remember to make Jesus Christ the standard of your life.